Welcome to day two of 30 days of Tai Chi. I hope you had a little bit of time yesterday to practice, but let's review what we learned in day one, preparation and pushing Chi. I'm gonna turn towards the mirror. Remember with preparation, your legs are about shoulder width apart, knees are soft, your shoulders are in harmony with your hips. Bring your hands in front of your thighs, sink just a little bit, and then as you come up, let the arms float up and the elbows drop as you come back down. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. So now bring your left foot forward. Remember to have a little bit of uh, wideness in your stance. Don't allow your stance to be too narrow. Bring your hands to the level of your Dantian. As you come forward onto that left leg, let your arms float up and out. And then as you come back to that right side, let them come toward your body, pushing Chi. If you're moving from your Dantian, you're gonna keep your shoulders in harmony with your hips and you're gonna keep this cavity nice and open so that you can get your breathing correct. Your breathing should help that relaxation. Remember you're breathing out as you push away from your body, breathing in as you come towards your body. Breathing out and breathing in. Now I'm gonna bring that left foot back Bring the right foot forward, and I want you to think, add to what we were just talking about. Lower that center of gravity just a little bit. This is called being rooted and grounded. So taking a nice deep breath in here, breathe out as you push away, breathe in as you come towards your body. Notice that there's no reason to extend your arms. There's no reason to make them straight. And there's no reason to lift that back heel either. This is not a good position. Remember, we want our shoulders in harmony with our hips. Keep those columns intact. So keep both feet rooted and grounded, and that's going to help you with your columns as well. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. So now we're going to learn what we call chi walking. And it's not energy walking, it's, that's not what it means. It's really just a simplified version of tai chi walking. And Tai Chi walking helps you understand your substantial and insubstantial. And that's a fancy way of saying empty and full, right? The insubstantial side is the empty side. The substantial side is the full side. And in Tai Chi, we always know where our weight is, which side is substantial, which side is insubstantial, because that helps with our balance. So that's why I want to teach you this chi walking because it will help you understand and implement substantial and insubstantial shifts. So I'm going to step back just a little bit here. As you do your chi walking, you land heel to toe. Heel first, roll that foot on Roll the foot so that you're going towards your toes. So if I turn just a little bit this way and I, you can see where I land heel, I don't land flat footed. Bringing that left foot forward, just roll heel to toe, bring a little bit of weight onto that left. But now we're actually going to rock back to the right. And then we're going to rock 
all the way back onto the left. Bring our weight onto that left foot and step forward with the right. So think of it in terms of testing ice. As you step, you gently test and see if the ice is solid. Then you rock back, you realize it is solid. Then you bring all your weight onto that left. Let the right leg become completely empty before you move it forward to test the ice now on the right. Bring a little bit of weight onto the right, rock back. Now let all that weight come onto that right leg let the left leg become empty and step forward with the left. Think about water flowing from one side into the next. Step forward with that left. Bring a little bit of weight forward, then rock back. Now all the weights in that right leg, all the water is in that right leg. Let it flow into the left. Don't lift that right leg until it's completely empty. Now it's easy to move. Test the ice, heel to toe. Now the water has to flow from the left into the right. Let that water flow all the way into the right. Let the left leg become empty. And now step forward with the left. So you notice with chi walking, we are moving very slowly and that's a good thing because I want you to focus on where is my weight. I'm going to turn towards the mirror here. As we roll step, roll heel to toe, then rock back, then bring all the weight onto that left. Notice that I keep my knee soft in this position. I don't lock my knee before I step forward with the right. So I'm going to turn this way. If I'm stepping, rocking back, now all the weight's going to come onto that left leg. Notice that that knee is slightly bent. Don't try to lift before you step forward. That's going to make you fall forward. So now left foot, don't take too big of a step. It's a small step. Rocking forward, rocking back. Now bring all the weight onto that left. Don't lift the right leg until it's completely empty. Then step forward, rocking forward, rocking back. Now bring all the weight onto that right. Now you can step with the left. As you rock forward and back, with your chi walking. There's no need to lift that back heel, that right foot right here can stay on the ground until it becomes empty. Then you can roll that foot up. As I step forward with my right, my left heel stays on the ground until it becomes completely empty. Then I can step forward. So that's your lesson for today, learning how to walk in a Tai Chi way. And that's going to help you improve your balance. So I'll see you tomorrow.